Hey, what is going on? My name is Norbert and welcome to the complete JavaScript array method series. In this video, we're going to learn about two methods, the push and the pop method. As always, the code is down in the description below. So if you wish to just follow along, then just grab onto the code, copy it, and just follow along with what I'm doing. If you wish to code along, then please feel free to do so. Now, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new content like this on a regular basis. Also, if you like my video, hit that thumbs up button and help out that YouTube algorithm and help the channel grow. And as always, if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, please consider them leaving them down in the comment section below. So with this being said, let's get into the video. Now, while the push method adds a new item to the end of the array and returns the new length of the array, the pop method will remove an item from the end of the array. So I'm going to include both of them in this one video because, well, they're pretty similar. One of them adds and the other one removes an item from the end of the array. So let's start by creating a const, let's call it fruits. And we're going to type in our fruits again of banana, orange, apple, and mango. I don't know what I'm putting that accent on the mango because it's nothing special about mangoes. So let's console log our fruits array. We get banana, orange, or uh, <laughs> we get banana, orange, apple, and mango. And now let's add something to the end array. And how can we add something to the end, or end of the array? We're going to select our array of fruits. We're going to use the push method. And within here, we're going to tell it what we, what we wish to push. We're going to push a kiwi. Now, if I console log our fruits array again, we can see that kiwi was added to the end of the array. And as I said, please note that this also changes the length of the array. So if I would now console log here, fruits.length, we'll see that now our array has five elements and st instead of four. Now let's do something else. Let's create here another const. Let's call it sort fruits and we're going to assign this to an arrow function this is going to take in a new item then the arrow itself and we're going to select our fruits array and we're going to push to it whatever item we wish so new item now time item okay so whatever we put in here is going to be pushed within here now i can use our fr sort fruits function so sort fruits and we're going to pass in here for example a prune Okay, so if I hit save and console log our fruits again, we get to see that prune was also added to our array. And now we have six. And now we have a total length of six. Now let's do something more fancy. Let's grab onto our users again. So const users, assign them to an array of objects. First object will have a name, Arabella. Let's scroll up a bit. Then an age of 20 a income of 400, so far and so on. And also going to pass, uh, just copy and paste in the other users. So Karina, Norbert, Laura, each of them having age and income. So now let's create a function which will add a new user to the existing array of users. So I'm going to create here a function, use the function keyword. This is going to have the name of add new user. Is going to take in the argument of add new user, which is going to execute the users dot push whatever new user is going to be added within our function. Now we will initiate a new user variable with the let keyword because we want to change it later on. So let new user just going to initiate it here. And now we can create a new user by assigning to the variable a object with the name, age, and income, and then pass it into the as the new user and pass it into the add new user function. So let's say new user, and we're going to assign this to a object of with a name of let's say Tony. Tony is going to have also a age of 40. And Tony also has an income of 700. Okay, so if I would call now upon the function of add new user, 
pass in here the new user that we just created. So this one right here. And now console log the array of users. We'll see that, let's take a look in our user array. We can see that Tony was added to the end of the array. Also, if I wish to check the length of this, so dot length, we'll see that length just changed to five. Now we can continue on and add another user. I could just use the new user keyword again and assign this to a new user with the name of Anna. And I was going to have an age of 23, a income of 300. And now let's add Anna by pushing Anna into the new add new user function. So again, new user, hit save. Let's console log our users. And we can see that Anna was just added to the, as a new user. Okay, now that we know how to add elements to an array, let's see how we can remove elements from the end of the array. Not from anywhere, but from the end. And this is where the, let's type in a comment of pop method comes into play. Okay, now the pop method re removes the last element of any array and returns that element. Now, please note that this method changes the length of the array and to remove the first element of the array, we'll take a, a, a look at this later on with on shift and shift. So let's continue on by removing elements from our array. So let's create here another function. We'll call this, call this remove last user. Okay, now all this function will do is going to grab onto the user's array and it's going to execute the pop function, the pop method. So if I would now console log remove last user, I'm missing here a T and note this method will change the original array. So if I would console log now the users array again, oh, we see that we have only five users and I was just removed from the users. Also, if I execute this, once more, console log the users array again, we only have four users. So if, if we continue on doing this, we're going to get rid of all of the users. So not this, but let's type in here, this free and once again, and we can actually do this until we have no more users. Just going to have an empty array. Oh, wait, we have, still have one more user. Let's execute this again. And we have no more users. Okay. So I hope you understand push and pop and hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.